All right, so we are gonna make Milky Way flavored homemade ice cream. So I got the quince right here. They've been super excited to make ice cream. We did this a few years ago whenever they, honestly, it was before this kitchen was redone. We did it a long time ago. And so the girls were probably like four. And so, so we're gonna revisit that. But also I went on Instagram and asked for questions for a Q&A. So as we're gonna be making this ice cream and we will share the recipe with you, but as we're gonna be making this ice cream, we'll also be answering some questions for a Q&A. So here we go. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting with my pack. You said I curled my hair with pants. I really put them in my hair because I didn't know What does that even mean? She put pants in her hair like how Parker, yeah. Parker. Parker put pants in her hair to make it curly. Now Lily put pants in my hair. What do you mean? What do you mean pants? No, you get pants and you wrap um wrap hair around, around it. it, and then pants. fold it up. And then... We're speaking two different languages. Okay, first of all, what we need to do is we need open to this. open up. We're gonna do one at a time. I so. already opened. So open up one. Do the big one. One. Everybody uh -huh. open up candy bars. Don't eat them because we need them to make. Yeah, don't eat them, Ava. We need them to make the ice cream. Are we going to put them in here? Which uh, one? Yeah, once you open it, put it in the glass container. Okay, put it in there. Riley, put them in the glass container. Okay. Put them in the glass container. here and I will share it at the bottom but what we need is one big one bag of fun size Milky Way bars two cans of Eagle brand sweetened condensed milk so we got two cans of that <laughs> one gallon of milk one teaspoon of vanilla extract one eighth table one eighth teaspoon of salt and then the rock salt for the ice um, they popped, so popped. Yeah, Can I stir them? Because it was my patch. Which one is it, Olivia? Melted. Yeah. Okay. I can stir it. Can I lick? Can we lick the spoon after? I don't like the spoon. No, because we got to make a second batch oh, after yeah. this. So we're gonna. I can't lick the spoon. Not. Like Let's put that in there for another. Huh? Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Uh, I think it's good. All right, it says melt candy bars in microwave <laughs> and slowly blend in one can of Eagle brand while continuing to melt and mix with candy. That's so good. Right. That looks bad. In here? Yep. So good. Pour that in. This is what helps Ice cream make. better. Makes the ice cream. The best. Oh. Creamy. You almost dropped it in there. Okay. What is good? Good? Kind of. It's in the condensed milk? Mm-hmm. 30 seconds. So 
we need to put the second can in there. Pour that second can in. And this one? I'm stirring next one. Yeah. No, uh, part, uh, We gotta add in the salt and the vanilla extract. So we need an eighth of a teaspoon. An eighth of a teaspoon. Right here. That's how much salt we need. Dump that in. And then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm stirring it. Right. It smells good. Let me smell. Smell that. Uh, it smells good. Uh, it smells I want to smell it. It smells weird. Oh, it smells like cake. It does not smell good. Let me smell it. It does not smell like cake. It smells like. Let me smell. Let me smell it. Alright, so now what we're gonna do this into that. Excuse me. Let me hold it. Let me hold it. Because this is gonna be get really messy. Clean now. And we will add milk all the way up to the fill line. Where's the fill? Of this container. I didn't know where we were not supposed to in it. What is that for? Hope not. Yeah. Alright, and then from here, this in here. Yeah, all right, can somebody Probably walk right outside the door and grab one of those bags of ice? There's no way I'm walking outside. This door? This is right there, right outside the door. Oh, there's another one. 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 Alright, so we're having technical difficulties with this ice maker. This thing is not spinning. Gotta figure that out. Hold. Okay, well, I guess that's what happens when you haven't used your ice cream maker in a couple years and it's been sitting up in a shelf in the garage in the box. It just doesn't decide to work when you want it to work. We made the base right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the freezer and get us a new ice cream maker. But we'll go ahead and start making a gumbo and we'll cut to some Q&A while we're making a gumbo. All right. I'm on to gumbo and I learned like last week whenever I was cooking the beef stew like whenever I'm solo with the kids I just can't make a roux from scratch and so today I'm doing a quick gumbo quick easy gumbo and I am using a already made roux and this is called a uh, Carrie's Carrie's roux from Louisiana and so this is like my go-to whenever I'm just trying to create like a easy, quick gumbo. So what I did right now, I put two 32-ounce uh, containers of chicken stock in this pot, and I put this whole container in there. And I'm gonna put a lot of meat. And so I'm gonna get that going, get that boiling, and then I'm gonna add in the Trinity mix, which is onions, celery, bell pepper, and then I'm also gonna put some garlic in there. Up on Instagram, I got a bunch, like a bunch of questions to choose from. <laughs> so, we're gonna answer a few of the questions that you guys submitted. 
What do y'all want to be when you grow up? Um, I want when, to be a wait, one at a time. <laughs> when when I when I grow up, I want to be a um. I forgot what it was called. When I grow up, I want to be a veterinarian. Hey, what? You took mine. We need when I grow up, I want to yeah, be. Yeah, she's not taking. When I grow up, I want to be a zookeeper. What's Hazel want to be? I want to be a veterinarian. Veterinarian? Every single one of y'all want to work with animals? When I, when I grow up, I want to be a nurse. I want to be a labor and delivery nurse. Who's the messiest queen? Who's the messiest queen? Queen Ava. What's the what? Ava's, Ava's, Ava's what? Ice cream. Ava's the messiest with ice cream and chocolate. But I know all of us is the messiest in our house. Not Hazel. Like sometimes. With, with it, said the, it said the messiest Quint. Quint. That's the consensus that Ava's the messiest Quint. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite subject at school? This my is the same person, actually. My favorite subject is math. My, my, my favorite subject is science. Mine 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 is science. Science. What's book? Well, it used to be math, but math got harder and then science got easier once you like went up a grade. So I think my favorite right now is science. Hazel, this one's for you. How is it going with your expander? This is going great. It's going great? Yep. She said her daughter needs one and she's nervous about it. Do you have any advice for her daughter that's about to get an expander? <laughs> That's good advice. Yeah, Hazel's got Hazel's got a follow up next week. I gotta take her next Tuesday, and they're gonna evaluate it and see what her progress is. Actually, she's got two appointments next Tuesday. She's got orthodontist appointment for, to look at her expander, and also an eye appointment. They're like a block away, so she's got two. Next Tuesday is a big day for Hazel. What is your favorite after school activity? Um, we had activities after school. Like, like, sports. like some of you had sports. Uh, uh, so, uh, my favorite activity after school was, um, uh, uh, what was, what was it called? Um, soccer, soccer. Soccer. Mine was acro. 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 What's Acro? Acro is a dancing place where you learn how to dance. And no, we no, learn tricks. You learn tricks. We don't, don't dance. dance. You learn tricks. Ooh. It's and, the same thing. And uh, no, it's not. And then uh, in Acro, we're we're gonna learn our our backflips and our aerials. What is an aerial? You you do, um, it's a cartwheel with no hands. hands. No. What's your biggest? Fear. My biggest fear is when I'm in bed and someone someone uh, uh, breaks into our house and steals me. <laughs> My biggest fear is um, I feel like someone's watching me. Watching what? Yeah. Someone always watching you. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Parker. Parker, what's your biggest fear? What are you scared of the most? Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm scared of sharks. I don't know. It's not your turn. Skip on to me. Okay, Lulu. I'm scared of sharks. Sharks? Save us. Clowns. <laughs> That's a good one. What about Blake? I feel like I don't have one big fear. I just have small fears of like different kinds. So like, say three of like my top fears would be like the like deep ocean. Um, oh, another one's like heights. And then there was one that I like just thought of that I was scared of, but I completely just forgot. Do y'all know the trick on making eggs peel easy? It's, oh, tap, okay. it's the tap method. Listen. Oh. oh, there it goes. So you listen for the different sound in the tap. Okay, ready? So you tap on the egg very lightly and you just tap, 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 tap. And finally you'll hear a distinctive different sound. 
what I think it is, it's is it's like the, um, the membrane on the inside of the egg separating from the shell. So whenever you boil it, it separates easy. Okay. Sounds like a little popping noise. It's like. So, did we teach y'all something? Or is it something you already knew? Ever since, ever since I started doing that, peeling eggs is so much easier. Peeling eggs because we like eggs in our gumbo. Normally, whenever I make a gumbo, I'll make, also make like a potato salad but we just don't have enough time. So we're just gonna do gumbo tonight. I'm gonna make some rice. We're boiling some eggs. We'll boil them, pill them, and then drop them in the gumbo. Um, chicken and sausage is in there boiling down right now. And then I'm gonna add in some shrimp. We got some Good Ranchers Gulf shrimp. Good Ranchers. That we're gonna add later. It's actually the first time that I've ever put shrimp in the gumbo. We usually just do chicken and sausage. I only get seafood gumbo whenever I go somewhere else to a restaurant or whatever and eat, but I'm gonna try something new. Okay. Right. Well, Daddy, tonight hmm? can we have some cake? Is there a baby in it? Yes. Uh, I hope so. I'm gonna yes. get that baby right in the middle of it. But Riley, if you get the baby, then you have to pay for the cake next time. All right, so Lulu's day. <laughs> Hold that as my hand. Okay. God and Father, God and Father, we give thanks, we give thanks for our many blessings, for our many blessings. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for this food and bless it to our bodies. Amen. Amen. There we go. Did you taste it yet? Is it too hot? You need more, you need more juice? Can I have this? Yes, I do need more juice. I, do. I don't really have any. All right, gumbo's done. Dad's here solo, so. Got to uh, get the kids ready for bed, eat, get ready for bed. They actually do have school tomorrow, so we uh, got a busy day in the morning. So, we'll see you around. All right, so the other day we took a little break from this video just because we had the huge mishap with the ice cream maker breaking and stuff like that. Had to go get, actually got a new ice cream maker. I don't, did we talk about that? We went and got, so I've been seeing all these TikTok videos about this, uh, this new uh, Ninja Creamy. And it looks super cool. So I went to Target and bought one. And so we just took all of the mix that we made the other day with the Milky Way and stuff. And we put it in these little pint containers to freeze. So we got those squared away. But we have a few questions that we're gonna get to so we can finish up this video. And I got Lulu. And I got Hazel down here right now. Mom's actually back. Creamy. Hazel's making ramen. Why does it look white? It's her favorite thing ever. Actually, I kind of like it too. Why does it look white? Why does it look white? Yeah. What do you mean? It looked white for a second. Oh. Because there was a bunch of bubbles on top of it. There's bubbles? Yeah. Do you like ramen? Is that one of your favorite things to make? Second favorite. Second favorite? What's your first favorite thing to make? We'll make with mama and daddy is gumbo. Oh, gumbo. But we made that the other day. Yeah. And actually this, this video, we made gumbo. But now she's making ramen. Lulu, what's your favorite thing to make? Um, Crescent rolls. Crescent rolls? That's your that's your guilty pleasure in the kitchen. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so I went through I went through my Instagram questions and I picked three more questions. I got one. And then this one might take a little bit to answer. Hazel, what is the hardest thing about being a multiple? What's a multiple? A what? Say like if um you have five robots. That's a multiple. You and Hazel are multiples, so what does that mean? I don't know. That means mommy and daddy had five babies at the same time. 
right? Mm -hmm. So you're in multiple. So what is the hardest thing about being a multiple? I know. Huh? Time to keep my sisters to not fight. Do what? So like, if Riley and Ava were right here, and I try to like go like that, I'm like, hey, but Riley, stop. Okay. <laughs> Trying to keep them from arguing? Yes. That's the hardest thing? Yes. <laughs> you have something? I'll pick them up after them. What? I'll pick them up after them, because they never pick up after themselves. No. It's, it's easy? You like being a multiple? Mm-hmm. It's a cool life? Yep. Yep. There you have it. Lulu likes it. No struggles by Lulu's account. All right, so now I'm going to go chase down a couple of the other girls. They're upstairs just hanging out. We'll see if they can answer these other questions. All right. All right, the girls were up here in the playroom upstairs. And I got three questions for y'all. Okay, first question. What is the hardest thing about being a multiple? They can be annoying, <laughs> and they play other things that I would not want to play. Like what? Like they play... They... They play dolls and makeup when you want to play with other stuff? Mm. <laughs> what was your favorite ride in Disney World? It was, um, it was the dinosaur ride, huh? Oh yeah, it was the dinosaur ride. The dinosaur ride in Animal Kingdom? Yes, in Animal Kingdom. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? My favorite flavor of ice cream is vanilla, um, cheesecake, and strawberry. What's the hardest thing about being a multiple? Um, that I have to share my toys that I bought with <laughs> my own money. And they, and they rip it, especially the dogs. What was your favorite ride at Disney World? A Mount Everest and the elevator ride. Oh, Tower of Terror? Yeah. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Chocolate. That's a good one. Your turn. What's the hardest thing about being a multiple? Um, that the girls sometimes fight. The girls or you too? Me too. <laughs> What was your favorite ride at Disney World? Um, probably the... Parker's not much of a roller coaster girl. So what was your favorite thing at Disney World? The Buzz Lightyear one. Oh, yeah. And Seven Doors. Oh, what about the, um... Uh, oh, yeah, it was the Buzz Lightyear one. Where it was the game where you got to shoot all the targets. What about mm -hmm. I yeah. Tron? Parker didn't ride Tron. Oh yeah, yeah you did. did. Parker did ride Tron. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Mmm, strawberry. Mmm, there you have it. So Hazel, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? My favorite ice cream flavor is um, birthday cake. All right, so we're still trying to figure out, we've gotten tons of questions about Disney. And so I'm gonna fill y'all in on a little thing. So we filmed the Disney Park experience for the season finale of Out Daughtered. And then also we did have like some free time. We'd have like a free day in the park one day where I also filmed some stuff. And uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with that just yet. If we want to wait and kind of use it as like our own little our own little vlog to kind of supplement like on the side of the season finale, but that's gonna be probably months down the road. Or uh, we have it filmed. I don't wanna forget about it. We're still trying to figure that out. But we'll answer some questions. Uh, so one question that we got a ton was, what was your favorite ride in Disney World? Hazel, did you hear me? Yes. Okay, she heard me. Let me cut the hazel. My favorite ride at Disney World was the Gardens of the Galaxy. That was your favorite one? That was like the most crazy ride ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was fun. 
and that's that's one thing that you guys are gonna see in this episode about Donard. Like Hazel blew me away by just how like fearless this kid is. Like Hazel was the one out of all the Quints, even Blake. Blake, Hazel, I mean Hazel is my most fearless daughter. Like any ride that she could get on, she was riding it. And it was like super fun to watch. Like she was just totally down for whatever. And it was awesome. You love roller coasters, huh? Your daddy's a little roller coaster daredevil. <laughs> So one other question that I got a lot that I think I'm gonna make a video of for next week's video. A lot of people are still asking like what I use, especially like with the Disney stuff, a quick, easy, just get around the house like vlog camera. Like right now I'm holding a big Canon R3 right now just cause the autofocus is awesome and for, it's just super easy. Whenever I'm just like sitting by her, like it just locks on your eye. Actually, it's locked onto this eye right now. I can see it. When I'm not shooting a big professional mirrorless camera, people are asking like, what What are? What am I shooting with? What is an easy camera to use for just daily vlogs or just filming fun moments with your kids and stuff like that? And so I came across the perfect camera that I actually used more than any of my mirrorless cameras, which I had on both there at Disney. And I picked up this one camera 99% of the time whenever we were filming rides, walking around the park, just because it was so easy, so convenient. The kids could hold it and it was super easy and convenient for them. And so I'm gonna talk about that in next week's video, whenever this camera came out, um, just looking at the features and all the innovation in this camera, like I was blown away by it and I, purchased it on release day. With my own money, I bought it because I saw benefit in having this camera. Now about three weeks, a month later, right about a month later, uh, shoot, I don't know, it's been out probably longer than that now. The company caught wind that I'm actually been using this camera and I really enjoy it. Uh, and they reached out to me this week and wanted me to make a video about it. I'm like, huh, I've been wanting to talk about this camera anyway. I haven't really talked about it much. Uh, we've just been using it and we just really enjoy it. I have it and we're gonna make a video about it next week. I'm already getting a lot of questions about what I'm using anyway, so let's make a video. So next week's video, uh, I'll, I'll show like all the cool features, like the kids using it and stuff like that. So we'll do that next week. Thank you so much for sticking around, hearing out like all these questions with the girls, making a little gumbo, a little ice cream with us. And thank you for being such great fans of us and our family. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.